Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a how to beginner video for diamond painting. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So today, like I say, I'm doing a complete how to video for beginners for diamond painting. I have been wanting to make this video for quite a while now just to help others learn how to set up a diamond painting and how to begin diamond painting. So the company that I'm going to be showcasing today is Diamond Art Club. They are one of the most well-known companies out there and they have recently come out with this brand of diamond paintings called Lil Diamonds and they are specifically for beginners, kid friendly and things like that for people who are just starting out or wanting to learn how to diamond paint. So this is the image we are working with today. This is Pebbles Flintstone. You can see here the Warner Brothers copyright. Now Diamond Art Club kits are legally licensed which means that they have the legal right to use the images and to produce, reproduce the images. Now some diamond painting companies do not do things in a legal way, but Diamond Art Club does. So you will see branding, you will see artist names and things like that because they have legally licensed these things. Now this here is a sticker that you can actually put on the box of your kit if you want to store it somewhere or you can actually put it in a log book. A lot of diamond painters use a log book which they use to record the diamond paintings that they complete. Now on this sticker you can see that the shape of this kit is round drills. Actual diamond painting drills that you will put down look like this and they only come in either round or square now rounds are a little more beginner friendly than squares so this one is a round you can see the size here in centimeters 32.8 by 32.8 so that is all of the information on this sticker here now this is what is called a sticker sheet so again you have that same information you saw on the last sticker sheet you have the original image this you can put in a log book if you would like to you can put the date that you started the diamond painting and the day that you finished it now these here are all the different numbers and colors of the diamond painting drills and you can actually take these stickers off and you can put them either on the ziploc bags that you use to store your drills or containers some people use different types of storage containers to store the diamond painting drills in so you have your numbers you have your different symbols which are going to be what is on the canvas and then you have the color code now the color code goes along with the dmc numbers for floss if you do cross stitching you may know more about that but there is a number for every color that is used. Now with Diamond Art Club and with most companies, you will get a basic diamond painting toolkit. And that is what this is right here. In here you have a pin, you have a comfort grip for the pin, you have two wax pads, a tray, and a multi-placer. And I'm going to open up this toolkit and show you guys and tell you guys what all you do with each individual item. So first off, you get several of these Ziploc baggies. And what some people will do is they will open up the drills and put the drills inside of the Ziploc baggies to hold them while they are diamond painting. Now this is a basic diamond painting tray and I will demonstrate how to use this in just a moment, but this is a small basic tray that you put the diamond painting drills inside of. 
and then we have two wax hearts now this is the wax that is going to go inside the tip of your pen there is a plastic cover over the wax on both sides to help the wax from drying out and i will showcase this again in a moment but you are going to take the pen and press it inside of the wax scoot it back and forth and then that wax is going to go inside of the pen and you will be able to pick up the drills from there now this comfort grip goes on the pen like so sometimes it can be a little difficult to get it on there but this is what this is for to just make it a little more comfortable to diamond paint now the last piece you have in the toolkit this is called a multi-placer and multi-placers come in many different sizes they can range from a two placer to i've heard of up to a 15 placer and what that means is a placer is how many drills will fit on the edge of this after you have put wax in it so this one is a four placer which means that four diamond painting drills will fit on this multi-placer and it goes on the end of your pen so your pen looks like this and you have wax in this end and i will also show you how to put wax in the multi-placer so you will again take off that plastic cover like we did before you will set the wax down and the pin you will place the multi-placer right into the wax rock it back and forth and then that wax will now be inside of the pin for use okay now that we have looked at the toolkit let's look at the actual canvas itself this is called a diamond painting canvas and it has diamond art club has a very sort of velvety soft backing it has scalloped edges here and that is so it will help with fraying so the canvas will not fray at the ends now this is diamond art club's branding most companies do have a branding for their brand at the top of their diamond paintings and this specific canvas has this is called a legend right here and you can refer to this to know where to place the diamond paint painting drills on the canvas so there is a legend here and there is also a legend on the other side over here now at the bottom you have all of the information about the canvas the licensing the sizing you have Diamond Art Club social media information. They have a lifetime warranty on their canvases, which you can see there as well. Now, as for the actual canvas, you have, this is called a plastic cover. And what this does is it helps protect the sticky part of the diamond painting canvas so diamond paintings are basically like a big sticker that you place the diamond painting drills on so this is very very sticky you want to keep this sticky area protected you want to keep some kind of plastic cover on top of it that will not you don't want to put regular paper or anything like that on this because it will stick to it and it can mess up your canvas so you want something like this plastic film or some kind of release paper that will lift up from the actual stickiness of the canvas now looking up close you have the symbols that you will coincide with the drills and the legend to put the correct drills down and diamond art club has really clear symbols you can really really see the numbers and the letters very clearly and you should not need 
a light pad. Some people use a light pad and you can if you need to, but Diamond Art Club has really clear symbols. So you may not need a light pad for their diamond paintings. Okay, so what we are going to do now is we are going to actually diamond paint and I'm going to show you the actual process of beginning and starting the diamond painting. So I'm going to use this right here. Now this did not come in the toolkit, but this is something that can be really useful. This is called a cover minder. It has a magnet on the back. And what you want to do is you want to lift up the release paper like so. You're going to set the top of your minder here. Then you're going to take the bottom magnet and slip it under the canvas like so. And then it is going to hold up that release paper so that you can have the sticky area exposed and you can start putting the drills on. Now there are many different ways to break up a canvas to where you only do certain parts of it. But for this video, I'm just going to show this method right here. Here we have the actual diamond painting drills. This one has 27 different colors and they all have the numbers. There is also the name of the diamond painting and the title so that you can keep the drills with the diamond painting. For the purposes of this video, I'm actually only going to use this one pink color, the background color, to show you guys how to diamond paint. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of the drills directly from the baggie and just pour a few into the tray. Not too many because we don't want them to spill over. Now, once you have the drills in the tray, you're going to lightly shake the drills until they are lined up like so in the tray. Next, you are going to take your pen and if you are using the single placer, all you are going to do is take your pen and pick up one of the drills and then you are going to place it right there on the canvas and you have now placed your first diamond painting drill and you are just going to repeat that until you fill up whatever space you are trying to fill up. So that is called a single placing when you take just one drill at a time and pick it up and put it onto the canvas. That is called single placing. Now, if you get braver after you've worked on some kits for a while, you can do what is called multi-placing. And again, this is a four placer. So it will pick up four of these drills like so and then you can place them on the canvas now if they get out of line it's okay you can just move them around because these canvases have what is called poured glue and that is a specific method that makes this glue a little more pliable and easier to deal with and very beginner friendly. So that is it for placing the drills for starting a diamond painting kit. That is how you get started. That is how you get into this craft and do this craft. Of course, there's a lot more to it. It can be a lot more involved than this or it can be as simple as this, whatever you are looking for. But I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.